What's up? It's Hannah and welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here. I apologize. I have not really been active on my YouTube channel or like social media lately. Kind of like been off and on that I've been posting. I was not planning on taking a break from YouTube or anything but I just had a lot going on and I've just been like in a rut. I haven't wanted to film or anything and, and when I'm like that I don't really want to force myself to film because I want to be able to put like 110% of myself into my videos. So if I'm not like in the mood to film I don't want to like force myself to do it you know. But yeah I'm glad I took a break because I needed it and I'm super excited about like new content that I'm planning out and you know filming and everything. So today I'm going to be updating y'all on some things that are happening around here and I'm going to introduce you to our, one of our new animals that y'all have not seen on here yet and I actually vlogged a couple days at the end of September I believe so I'm gonna go ahead and play those clips and then we'll get into today's vlog <laughs> Good morning y'all and welcome to today's vlog. Today, it's currently 10:43 a.m. I just got back from going into town to get gas <laughs> and I got donuts. Right now I'm on my way to Trader Supply because I still have some babies that I need to sell. So I'm gonna try and sell them up there today. I'm gonna get some food on the way because I haven't really eaten anything. I was gonna bring Southern with me, but I was thinking about if I had to get out of the car and I could not bring her with me and then I have the chicks in here. So I didn't know how that would go over. She does really, really good with the birds and everything but she tries to like hurt the chickens and the ducks and stuff. She doesn't try to hurt them, but with the babies in here, I don't fully trust her to leave her in here with all the babies, so. But maybe next time, I'll bring her with me. And the other day, I was able to meet a subscriber, which I was super, super excited about. Um, she was so, so sweet. I was so happy I was able to sit and talk with her for a little bit. She got some of my Lavender Orpingtons and a coaching the other day. She was just the sweetest thing, and I appreciate her so, so much. She's been watching my videos for years, so it was so neat to be able to meet her and talk to her in person. Today is September 19th. I'm currently on my way into Georgia to go and sell some of my chicks. You can probably hear them in the background. I'm super excited because I'm actually selling these to a subscriber that lives near me. So yeah, that's really, really cool. So I'm on my way there now and then I have to run a couple errands. Right now I have some coaching Bantams, Lavender Orpingtons, and some Lavender Easter Eggers. And she's going to get some Lavender Orpingtons and a Blue coaching. So I'm super excited. So yeah, that was so cool meeting her. Um, Bailey, if you're watching this, um, I appreciate you so much. And it was so nice being able to talk to you and meet you and everything. Rough. I wasn't planning on doing this today. Hi, can I please get a plain hamburger with nothing on it and a medium fry? Our Colonia first one will be free. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm like my wallet. <laughs> Put a hat on or something, I look crazy. Well, I'm running down a long time, I'm losing my load. I got seven women on my mind. 
Take it easy, take it easy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Thank you, you too. iPhone alert. Never had that before. Let me park so I can get my food situated. And then we will head to Charter Supply. Okay, I just got to tractor supply. I'm gonna run in really quick and grab some layer because I need some and then I'm going to set up over there with the chicks. So yeah, it is currently Friday morning on November 13th and I'm currently out of the barn getting everybody's feed together. So far I have only fed the pigs and the ducks. I still have to feed everybody else. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna get the horses feed together. I have beet pulp over here soaking so I have to get this together for Levi and Lady. This is Levi's bucket and this is Lady's bucket. Both of them have a scoop roughly a scoop of um, soaked beet pulp and then I just put um, a scoop of alfalfa pellets in there and I'm going to do the same for Lady and then this is Levi's senior feed this is um, Prina's senior feed put that in there and then here I have um, do more at Equa Stages for Lady her and Levi are hard, harder keepers so that's why they get um, beet pulp and all that stuff because my horse blue jeans is an easy keeper so she, so she just gets the equi stages those guys are harder to keep weight on so they get all that good stuff okay and then here i have bluey's bucket and she gets oh, you see him on my she gets do more equi stages like i said and I'm going to put some mineral oil in blue jeans to help flush her out a little bit because, um, what day was it? Tuesday night. She had a mild case of colic. No, it was Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday because she got into cat food Tuesday night and then she colicked Wednesday night, um, which was my fault. I had a bag of cat food on the full wheeler and I was leaving the house. I was in a hurry, so I forgot about the cat food. And she got into it. She wasn't in it for long, but she did get enough to upset her tummy. Um, but it was very mild, so she's fine. I gave her some banamine. <laughs> yes, mamas. You want to say hi to them? Do you want to say hi to them? Huh? When I noticed it, I was feeding her Wednesday night. And she did not finish all of her food, which is not like her at all. So she was eating. She ate about half of her food, and then she went and laid down. And... <laughs> She was looking at her stomach, which means, you know, she had pain in her stomach. And so I got her up. She didn't try to, like, lay back down. I got her up, and she was grazing and everything. Um, so it was really mild, so I gave her some banamine, and she was good. She never tried to lay back down or anything like that. So, yeah, I'm thankful it was really mild. Um, but she seems to be doing really good, so I'm going to keep giving her mineral oil to help flush her out. And I need to pick up some more alfalfa hay because that will help clean her out as well. So yeah, Wednesday night whenever she was colicking, um, I went up to the grocery store and got some mineral oil, which is really good to have on hand. Um, they pretty much have it anywhere. You can also get like Metamucil, like a powder, if they will not do the oil. But with Blue Jean, she does not like the powder. She wants the oil. And it took me a while to even get her to do the oil but that's what's worked well for me with them 
All right, where's Paco's bucket? It's over here. So yeah, something like Metamucil or mineral oil, um, sand clear, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's really good to have that on hand in case they need to be flushed out like that. You know, if it's something mild enough and they don't like have to actually be flushed out and you can do it yourself like with supplements like that. Um, and even like in the fall and winter months when you don't have a lot of grass, I like to do um, mineral oil like once a month to just you know help clear them out in case they have sand in them or something just in case because them eating sand will have them colic as well and then we have the little dudes over here <gasps> hello Nash come here hi buddy hi buddy oh it's so sweet okay it is super, super muddy right now. We had that tropical storm. Ada, which was kind of, I guess it was a little Okay. Hey, go, buddy. Good boy. Okay. I'm eating over here, and then I gotta get Levi and Blue Jean, or uh, Levi and Lady over here. Okay, I'm pretty much done out here at the barn for this morning other than turning the horses out. But this morning I'm gonna feed the cows for mama and I'm gonna show y'all our new girl that we just love so much. Okay, y'all, this is Nala. She is dirty. She needs to be brushed. But um, I just gave her her water, and she's got... I'm about to feed her. She is a Highland as well, like Tucker is. She's so sweet. She's um, starting to warm up to us now. Whenever we got her, we couldn't even touch her. So she's doing... Come here. She's doing a lot better. Oh, we have a cow tongue. Nala. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. She's like, I want my food. What do you want? What do you want? Hmm? Y'all can probably hear Tucker. Okay, let me get her food. And here's Tucker. Um, if y'all didn't see the video of us getting him, I'll have it linked in the description box. But he's our Highland Bull Calf. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nala. They're both around the same age. I'm guessing like, well, Tucker's a little bit older. I think she's about seven or eight months old. How are you doing? It's okay. You're okay. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs>
Look at that lip. Honey. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, you smell the cow feet on me. Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Okay, I just fed the cows. I'm gonna turn the horses out now. girl. Make good decisions, okay? I love you. Come on, babies! Where's Topper? What are you doing? You can go. I don't have any treats for you. I'm sorry. Good boy. You are so cute. Oh, no, you're not gonna do your little trot now that I'm filming. You are so cute. You're so cute. Do you guys say hi to me? Oh my goodness. You are so cute. Oh my goodness. You are so cute. You're so cute. Okay, two more horses and they'll be out. Good deal. Okay. You took a girl. You took a girl. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ready? You want it? Come here. Ready? Go get it. Good girl. Going. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Look, sit. Good girl. Ready? Watch it. Ready? Go get it. No. Good girl. Get it. Where is it? Find it. Find it. Find it, it's right there. <gasps> Did you find it? <gasps> That's it, Mama. Good girl. Where are you going? Come here. Let me get it. It's a good girl. It's a good girl. You found it. You found it. Let me see. Let me see. <gasps> Ready? Sit. Good girl. Ready? Go get it. Go get it. I don't even know where it went. <laughs> I was looking. <gasps> good girl! That's a good girl. Good girl. It's so good girl. So turn. Yes, it does. Alright, y'all. It is a lot later now. It's like three something. Um, I wanted to talk about the earrings that I have on really quick because the super sweet girl, Kylie, that owns 
southern style chic over on instagram um she sent these to me and she also sent me this other pair leather earrings are literally like my favorite like i love them so much and she was so kind and sent me these um sunflower ones they're super great quality and she hand makes them um i just i love them so very much and would definitely recommend them she sent me these also these are the other ones um they say faith over fear and they're like a pretty orange color i wear them all the time and i love them so much so kylie if you're watching this thank you so 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 very much um i'll have her instagram linked in the description box in case y'all want to check them out <laughs> All right, y'all, I think that is going to be all for today's video. I have a lot of work to do on my computer, so I think I'm going to go and work on that for the majority of the rest of the day. One year ago today, I was working on getting my shop, Simply How Etsy shop, launched, which is super exciting. I can't believe it's already been a year. That's so crazy. And we have some super exciting designs and new products coming out soon, which I cannot wait for. I'm super excited about them. We have these samples on order now so i'll be doing like an unboxing and stuff when they come in that's super super exciting yeah y'all stay tuned for that and keep an eye out for that um my instagram and everything is always in the description box if you want to follow me on there so we're super super excited about these new designs um i can't wait to launch them and release them for y'all um so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i thank y'all so very much for watching i appreciate all of you guys so so very much and i'll see y'all really really soon with another video Bye.